Opening its doors in 2014, the Canadian Museum for Human Rights is a national museum. And sit down. Just at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. So you look at the building from the outside, you go around it, and it doesn't look the same. If you look at it from a different angle, totally different. And that's what we want for human rights too, to see things from a different point of view. We got some passes ready for us. Hello, Maureen. This is Bado from A Buddy. Just walking into the building. Perfect. We have a 360 degree theater in the Indigenous Perspectives Gallery. My responsibility is to be part of this change. It takes courage to stand up for my human rights. I want to end poverty and hunger, provide shelter and prevent disease. I want the same access to healthcare and education as others have. My elders taught me that my duty is to protect our lands, our forests, and our rivers. I think I need a bigger memory stick. So much to see here, man. This building is amazing. From the outside to the inside, I don't know how much stone is in here, how long it took to build, what it cost, but uh, if you're in Winnipeg, you want to check this out, definitely worth the admission, 100%. It's the first national museum ever to be located outside the National Capital Region. Throughout history, people have grappled with ideas about human dignity, respect, and responsibility. It gives visitors that opportunity to explore the subject of human rights with a special but not exclusive reference to Canada. A unique and amazing learning experience, not just for Canadians, but for all people of all nations. Be sure to take part in the tour as well. The guides are professional, knowledgeable, and add amazing value to your visit. It'll be an experience you won't forget. We have um, videos that start when you point at the screen, almost like Xbox Connect. We're using virtual reality in one of our exhibits right now where you put on the phones and we're in a new exhibit we're going to have augmented reality which is now famous because of Pokemon Go. Look at that moving the ball. Look, look, look. Yeah. In this gallery we are immersed in a multimedia show featuring people speaking about their own perspectives on human rights. La liberté de religion. So this is what you do, you stand in a circle with your feet and then you point. The Timeline presents 100 selected moments in human rights history throughout the ages and around the world. Come share your story. I'll check it out later. You come in here, you type it, I'll come back, I'll read it. So there was a wealthy businessman named Israel Asper, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Um, he's always lived in Winnipeg and his family continues to be here and they would take um, students down to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. Um, because they really wanted people to learn about human rights. But then they thought they would really like a Canadian place to take people and they would really like it to be about um, issues beyond the Holocaust, about human rights for everyone because they knew how important that was. So they said, let's just do it. They're the kind of people who just did things. They started raising money. But at the end of the day, the Asper family had spearheaded raising $150 million from the private sector for what became in total a $351 million capital project. So they went to the federal government, uh, which agreed to support what is now become Canada's new National Museum in Winnipeg. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And what about the, the architect of this building? How did that come about? The architect's name is Antoine Friedhoff. It's 
a pretty big shot architect in the world scene. He has in, um, incorporated human rights symbolism in every aspect of this architecture, both exterior and interior. Well, I really enjoyed um, coming in here. I got goosebumps walking around, and I think the boys would say the same. Probably the best museum I've been to in Canada so far. I <laughs> definitely recommend coming here and checking it out and ask for Maureen. Say hi from A Buddy. Thank you, Maureen, for having us. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so happy that you mm -hmm. can come. Thank you. Peace so Hey, buddy. You gotta be fresh coming here. You gotta be well prepared. It takes more than two or three hours to thoroughly go through it and understand what's going on. I recommend Wednesday evenings because it's open till nine o'clock. Since it's my hometown, uh, I just wanna say thank you for coming to Winnipeg. Not Ski and JDS. It was a pleasure to have you here. He's a great host. I try my best. It's my last night in Winnipeg. I'm gonna be sad to Say goodbye. We're getting some home cooked Wiener Schnitzel from Mama JDS. Thanks, Natsuki. Thanks, Bottle. Canadian Human Rights Museum in Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you're driving around Winnipeg, you can't miss the structure. It's completely amazing to look at. Inside, I feel fortunate growing up in Canada because seeing some of the things that have happened around the world throughout history, uh, one human doing it to another human. And some of pretty disturbing. Yeah, we were here for like three hours. Definitely not enough time. There's so much to do. It's all very interactive, a lot of computer high tech. It's very up to date. There's an app you can download that'll help as you're walking throughout the, the museum, the app will give you some information as what you're looking at, where you are. Other than that, uh, it's been a fun road trip. Three of us jumped in a vehicle in Vancouver 11 days ago. We'll see you when we see you. I don't know where we'll be, but we'll be somewhere. And you'll be somewhere, because you'll be watching us. We'll see you guys.